Chef Buck here and today I'm going to cook up some butternut squash. We are going to make kind of a, a butternut squash hash in a skillet. So the ingredients that you're going to use, you can kind of make the ratio, whatever you like. Camera Girl made this dish uh, last week and it was so tasty. I said, you know, I want that again. So we're, that's what we're making today. Uh, there'll be a link down below. Take it over to myfoodchannel.com and you can check out all the details over there. But the first thing we're going to do is prep our squash. So just get your squash like this and then just knock it over on its side like that. Show it who's boss. You want to assert your dominance over your squash. Why can't you work with the squash? Right. Work with the squash. You want to put your elbow on the squash right here. Oh. And if the squash makes a sound at all, even the slightest peep, you take your knife bloop, and you cut the end of it off. And now you're not going to hear anything from this squash. Wait a minute. I don't want to eat this food. Huh? Well, it's dead now. We might as well eat it. So I whacked off the end. Oh, my Lord. And then I'm going to whack off the other end. I want food that has a harmonic energy. A here. harmonic energy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. So we cut off our ends, yeah. and now I'm going to slice it as evenly as I can right down the middle, you know, because ideally you want it to be equal sizes. This is the hardest part. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. This could be the hardest part, but for me, this is the easiest part. Because right. I just imagine all the kids in school that used to call me names. What? So there you have it. Pretty close in size, so they'll roast evenly. Now I'm going to go ahead and poke some holes in here. Uh, just because I've seen other people do that. So we give it a pokey pokey to further assert our dominance. So then your squash is gonna have its little guts right here. And we're just gonna take a spoon, kind of go around and scrape them out. We're gonna de-gut our squash. Oh Get out all the Lord. seeds and the little stringy strings there and just scrape them out. So we got our squash already steady, Freddy. I just got a shallow pan. I got a wee little bit of water in here, just enough to cover the bottom of my pan. And I'm gonna lay my squash face down in my pan. Now it's ready to go in the oven. So come on over here, camera girl. So you just want to slide it in your oven that you have preheated, you know, at about 375 or 400 degrees. And you want to let it roast away for a half hour, 45 minutes, you know, give it a check on it, you know, in about a half hour, see how it's doing. But it'll take between 30 and 45 minutes, depending on how the, the, size. the size of your squash. But we got a fancy pants little dinky do oven that we're gonna slide it in. We're gonna air roast it. it. Only takes 15 minutes. Yeah. I don't know. This is some highfalutin gadget. It's so awesome. we'll check on this here in a little bit. See how our roast is way up. Beep, 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 beep. I think that my squash is all roasted and ready. So let me go ahead and take a little peek here. Careful. Now I wanna be super duper careful because it's gonna be very hot. When you flip it over, you know, some steam will come out. So be super duper careful doing that. And my fork passes in there pretty easily. So I think it's all cooked up and it's ready. Now my squash is cooling down. And once it has, I'll go ahead and take the skin off. But while this is cooling, I'll go ahead and uh, prepare the rest of my dish. So I got a skillet here on medium high heat. I'm going to throw me a little bit of oil in here. Go ahead and get that heated up. And I got one onion thinly sliced. Large onion. All right, it looks like my oil is hot enough. So I'm gonna throw all my onion in there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and throw some garlic in here. And I got about three cloves, but you can really be flexible with the amount of garlic you use. So we'll get our garlic and onion mixed up and we'll go ahead and let these have a couple of minutes all on their lonesome. So we've had our onions going for a couple of minutes here. Now I'm gonna throw in some seasoning. Got a little bit of garlic powder, some salt, and some black pepper. Get these flavors mixed up in here. Now this butternut squash hash tastes fantastic because it is just a great combination of ingredients, a great combination of flavors. Dark red kidney beans. Now I've already got a can of beans rinsed and drained. This is a great color for the squash and a great consistency for this dish. And the other flavor that really makes this is sun-dried tomatoes. Now you can get sun-dried tomatoes dried like this here in the produce section in these little packets. Or you can also use sun-dried tomatoes. Sometimes you'll see them 
on the shelf in a jar packed in oil. And you can just slice those into whatever sizes you like. I've had them reconstituting a little bit in some warm water to help rehydrate them a little bit so they're not quite as chewy, but they're still gonna be pretty chewy. I'm just gonna go ahead and add the uh, liquid in with my skillet too, because that's a nice little flavor. And that's gonna cook off pretty quick. Alrighty, so I'm gonna lower my skillet down to a simmer and just let these flavors cook together for a few minutes. Let this liquid cook off. Come on over here, camera girl. So I think our squash is cooled down enough to handle. So let me go ahead and whack the skin off of here. We're just gonna take a knife and peel the skin off and it comes off very easily after it's been roasted. It's just like cutting the skin off an apple. Apple, that'd be good in there. Uh, no. Oh. All righty, so once I got the skin off my squash, I'm gonna go ahead and cube it up into some small sizes. And this squash is already cooked. You know, I mean, we roasted it in the oven long enough to where it's done. Yeah, even without seasoning, it has a good flavor. Oh yeah, it's very sweet. You know, if you've never had butternut squash, it's kind of similar to a sweet potato. A little bit, you know, a definitely a different consistency. It's not as dense as potato, certainly healthier than a potato. All righty, so we got some nice roasted squash here. Let's do the squash cam. I'm gonna give my beans and onion a stir here and add my squash. So I get all these ingredients mixed up together. You know, if you want to add a little bit more salt and pepper, you can go ahead and adjust those flavors. You can add spinach, you can add ah, spinach. Spinach is a good idea. I was gonna do that. Camera girl made this dish just like this the other day, and it was super duper. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw a handful of spinach in it just to uh, make it my own. Not a lot of spinach, just a wee little bit for color. But this is a super duper easy recipe. You know, it makes a terrific side dish. You know, you can serve it with chicken or pork or whatever you like, make it an entree. Just throw you a fried egg on there. That's how you make a side dish into an entree. Think of it almost like a potato dish, but it's squash. How are you gonna have yours, camera girl? So, if you're lazy, you don't feel like making a sauce, you don't feel like putting an egg on it, go low tech. Huh? And if you're a real foodie, is just that, look away. Is that just mayonnaise? look away. Just a little bit. You just say, I want a little bit of creaminess. And so you just go. You whoop. just you just undermined our entire cooking channel. No, because you know what? Cooking is about what you want at this moment. So you're just a huh? Mustard and mayonnaise? What are you? European? Are you trying to be Scandinavian? Are you trying to qualify for Canadian citizenship? Look. Is that what this is about? Buck sometimes puts this on it. Yeah, yeah. She, she, I did put that on mine last time and it was very good. You know, so again, if you're a real right. foodie, you may not be interested. No, but if you live in a trailer park, this might be uh, just the dealio for you. Well, if you're looking for a different way to use some butternut squash, give this recipe a try. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the future. Bye-bye.